What's up guys? Welcome back to the doghouse. This episode here at the doghouse is brought to you by animal abuse. Just kidding. So today is not about animal abuse, although some people might see it as animal abuse. Um, it's actually the, the complete opposite. Not like a video where I'm going to teach you how, or I'm not even going to be teaching the dogs how to do something, but um, this is something they already, kind of, they already know. And it's something that, um, it's just a practice. So, just kind of giving you the rundown and what it looks like when we practice. The dogs are obviously pretty zen. I don't know when that started. Um, but Dexter and Grimm are in a downstay already, so there's that. And over here, I have a big bowl of what they think is some awesome stuff. And today, or right now, we're going to practice our Leave It. And I guess you can call that uh, impulse control. They've already learned the command leave it or whatever you want to call it um it's basically what it exactly how it sounds to leave it um to me leaving it is not staring at it smelling it uh trying to get as close as you can without actually touching it that's not a lead that's not a dog leaving something alone um to me it's looking away from it almost now are we there yet probably not dexter's actually pretty good at that on occasion so but we'll see but we're going to kind of push them to the test tonight and see how far I can push them before they just can't take it anymore. So, let's get started. We'll start out really easy and I'm going to adjust Grim just a bit. And I'll probably be really mean and, uh, and I'll push Grim a little bit more than a... Uh, Dexter, just because I know the difference between the two dogs. Okay, that was a bo water bottle, Dexter. Relax. <laughs> Settle. All right, so this could go really terribly, although we've already been practicing, and they've been on a little walk. So let's just all be good, okay? Okay. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Now, leave it is not... Leave it. It's not a command. Uh uh. You can't even see. Leave it. So I'm putting the. Uh uh. I'm placing the kibble. Dexter's. Or Grim's already moving his feet because he knows exactly what's coming up. <laughs> uh, I'm putting the ki some kibble. Just two pieces of kibble right in front of Dexter. The gremlin. And um. Ah uh, ah. Uh, leave it. I feel like he knows. I feel like he knows that the camera's on now, and so, like, he thinks it's bark box time. It's not. Leave it. Leave it can save your dog's life. Um, well, because they could be going after something they're not supposed to. What if you drop a box of raisins on the ground or a bag of grapes? And your dog's running over there to grab it because he thinks it's bacon or something that you dropped. Well, leave it. Um... Raisins will kill your dog. So isn't that funny? Grapes and raisins are toxic. The weird thing about grapes and raisins is that um, they you can feed, I can feed Grim one grape and I can feed Dexter 20 grapes and it doesn't matter the size or the amount of grapes. There's no knowing how it's going to affect the dog. The one grape could kill Grim, who's bigger than Dexter, but Dexter could just need some IV fluids and have a slight reaction to 10 grapes obviously, and vice versa. So there's a little grape knowledge for you. Don't feed your dogs grapes or raisins. It's all bad for them. You don't know how they're going to react. Um, so if you're going to tell me that, oh, I feed my dog grapes all the time. Okay, so you might have a dog that doesn't have the biggest reaction to them, um, but maybe the next time they eat grapes, they could, or your other dog or your friend's dog can absolutely die from them. So don't feed your dogs grapes. So here we go. These ain't grapes, though. It's just the kibble. It's just your kibble. Leave it. And we're gonna start really pushing Grim. He'll probably lose his foot. Thank you. I know what you're you're keeping that foot away from me. Let's do that. Leave it. Alright, let's push the 
push the, I don't know, ante, is that what you say? Leave it. So this is a grim style bully stick. No, leave it. Uh-uh, leave it. So when giving the leave it command, I'm always very serious. Leave it. Because I mean it. Um, and some people do their leave it and they're just like, they do this part and that's fine. I don't care, but they'll do this where they'll put the treat on the nose and they'll use the word leave it. And then they'll say the release word. I'm definitely not saying that now. Leave it. Ah, leave it. So he's going for it. Smelling it is not leaving it alone. So we practice all that. You leave it. Let's do some more kibble. I wonder if Dexter will let me put it on his foot. Leave it. Here's the animal abuse. Ah! Here's the animal abuse. Grim is drooling. Because <laughs> there's, there's all kinds of food. Oh, and what's meaner is um, they haven't had dinner yet. It's not like they haven't eaten all day. And plus Grim just wore it, did some training that like literally fed him too. And he likes kibble. He works better lately for kibble instead of any kind of treat. Kibble and chuckets. So I just use his kibble. So he basically ate like an early dinner already. And then he's going to get dinner dinner because he's a growing boy. Leave it. So what I was saying is some people will say the release word and allow their dog to then go after it. I don't really like to do that because I don't want them to think. I like them to, there is a difference for me and I like to make sure my dogs know that, um, we're gonna bring this out too, they haven't seen a cow ear in forever. Uh-uh, leave it. Ah. Uh. You can see that. Uh-uh, leave it, good boy too excited but give them a good dog command um I don't want them to think that eventually they can get it to me leave it is you're never gonna get it okay so leaving it and then you have to walk away you're never gonna get it realize that it's something you're never gonna get versus a wait which I think is a better is a more fair command to give like with the treat on the nose trick and then you're gonna say your release word and allow them to throw it up and catch it um, because weight is more like, you know, you, you'll get it, you are going to get it, but when I say so, leave it, leave it. Now, the reason why I'm kind of skipping the point of showing you how to teach a leave it is because every dog is different. I don't know your dog, I'm not a dog trainer, leave it. And I know the way I like to teach leave it, but it also depends on the dog. So it's a lot of patience. Obviously, they're not robots. They're not going to do it perfectly. How you doing? No, leave it. Good boys. Oh, poor Grim. Now, he, you kept your foot back. Now, what I will do is, even though the treats, ah, what I have in my pocket are the same, are just kibble, more kibble. Um, I'm going to reward them calmly a piece of kibble because they have been listening. Good. Leave it. Good boys, leave it. Because um, I want them to know that the treat and the reward and whatever they want comes from me. You can put your foot down. You your foot. There you go. Want to put a treat on it? Bet you do. Leave it. Um, so you might be thinking, oh, well, they're never going to have their ball again. He's never going to have a chuck it. They're not going to get to chew this or they have their bully sticks. Yes, they will. I will collect these at the end and they will get them later. So it's not like they had to leave them. They don't remember. They're not going to remember. I don't care what you guys think. We're not gonna remember, but yeah, I mean, though I'm gonna use their things as props right now. But later, later, whenever it's time to give the bully stick and the the toys and whatnot, then they will get those. But as of right now, in their head, they're never getting what's in front of them. So we're gonna up the ante a bit more with our last little thing, and this is gonna be a tough one. Because it's our raw bones. Oh, can't even see. Our raw bones. We got the little... Ah! Of course, it's harder 
when you gotta focus on a camera, leave it, mister. This is practice. I'm not saying my dogs are leave it champions, if that even is a thing. They're still dogs and Grimm's a baby. Leave it. Remember that comment about animal abuse? Leave it. Well, here it is. Eat your heart out, people. Leave it. We got Grim. A nice, bloody. They will be getting these tonight. This is, we're gonna be doing some teeth cleaning. This is how we brush our teeth, isn't it? Leave it. Uh-uh. Leave it. They're dogs. No, yes, they're leaving it nicely, but we're not gonna get all excited and jump around and make a party. Leave it. We're gonna all stay calm. Grim's not even looking. It's too good to look at. Just can't be eating it. It's just too good to look at, isn't it? So mean. This is so mean, isn't it? Uh-uh. Don't you remove yourself. Leave it. Sometimes giving them treats is like the worst. Not the worst, but like a real test because <laughs> they think like oh it's like the, that part's over it's like, just go after it all good dogs Dexter it looks like you're taking some serious meditation skills to like not eat everything well I'm not gonna say the release word even though I almost did just now but there's our little practice of leave it Dexter is just shaking. He is just not a happy hate, not a happy camper. But that's all the that's all that toxic energy that like of not having impulse control just coming out. It's just really it's just releasing. You're releasing your demons, Dexter, by shaking it out. That's what that means when they shake during these kind of moments. He's releasing the demons that want to tell him to not listen and eat everything. Stop smelling it. Don't you even smell it. I'm watching you, puppy. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video, collect all the little things, and then give them their bones as their reward, because they need it. All right, well, thanks for watching this little video. If you uh, like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, whatever you want. Um, if you don't mind, we certainly appreciate all the support and everything of the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Grimace, I have not said anything yet. All right, bye, guys.